Well, good morning, beloved. This is the day which the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Well, here we are once again from our front seat, giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, if you know anything about me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know that fall is my favorite time of year. Favorite. The fall, the autumn, when I'm feeling bougie, I say autumn has arrived. So um, here we are in the workplace. It's Monday in a parking spot. Um, today is the uh, 25th of September, 20 and 23. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory. I, I seem like I kind of botched that whole thing up, but we here, y'all. We are here. So um, I've been out in these streets trusting God and slanging them shoestrings, y'all. Hey, had a good time. Um, yeah. Okay. So the word of God in St. Matthew chapter 24, maybe verse 42, 43, 44, somewhere in there. It says, like, if the goodman of the house had known what time the thief was going to break in, that the thief never would have gotten in the house. If the good men of the house had known, then the word of God says for us to watch, watch ye, therefore you know not the day when the Okay, remember that song? So the scripture says for us to watch. We must be watchful. We must be watchful. We must stay on the wall. We must be determined. So the good men of the house. Um, so basically, uh, you know, a thief does not say, oh, at a 2.45 in the a.m. or even in the p.m. now, because now thieves don't just wait till nighttime, right? Um, at 2.45, I'm coming in there. The thief doesn't say that. Um, the thief doesn't let you know when they're coming. Um, the thief used to be they dressed, you know, at night in black, you know, dark colors so they can hide in the darkness and not be seen. That ain't the case now. But nevertheless, the thief kind of kept it to themselves when they were going to come with the hope of what? Catching you off guard so they can come in, they can rob. Beloved, the word of God is letting us know that Jesus Christ is going to return. And when Jesus Christ returns, um, he's coming and we're not going to know when. The word of God further says, it also says that only the father knows. So only God knows Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Even he does not know when the time is going to come. But one day. Our father is going to look over and give Jesus the eye. And he's going to be like, "I right, son, it's time. Go on down there. Get on up. Go on. Beloved. So the word of God is saying that we must be prepared. We must be ready. Just like um, that thief does not tell the good men the time. So that means in the home, you got to what? Well, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. And the same way that we are ready and that we prepare for things of this life, beloved, we must be ready and prepare for the life to come. Because I submit to you that there is life after death. There is life after death. Now we can spend all the money we want now. But then guess what? You might need an oil change one day. Come on, somebody. Yeah, I might need a brand new tire one day. Come on, somebody. Or a set of tires. I don't know how it all works. In other words, we have to prepare. And when this life is over, when this life is over, there is a life eternal. There is a life eternal. And so we've got to know that it takes more than just being a good person to reign with the Father, Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, 
It takes more than just being a good person. We've got to know Jesus Christ as our Lord and as our Savior. If you came to know him as a child, beloved, if you accepted Jesus Christ in your heart as a child, you good. Now, oftentimes we have to reaffirm our faith. Oftentimes we have to let me get back in line. Let, 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 let me get it together. Beloved, be encouraged. So just like the good men of the house has to be watchful, we must be watchful. The word of God says, watch ye therefore, beloved, because Jesus Christ, he's soon to return. All right, and yeah, he's soon to return. Now, we don't know when he's coming for us, like just to call us home because, you know, hey, we ain't in no hurry. However, you know, um, but let us just know that we must be ready, okay? We must be ready. You know, I'm about to say, I'm going to eat my breakfast of champions. I have my two um, tacos from Jack in the Box, my favorite restaurant in the entire world, at least in my world. I've not found anything. But guess what, y'all? They now have something called pumpkin spice croissant bites. Now, I don't be eating this junk stuff, you know, but hey, it's fall and I love all things pumpkin spice. So they have these little, so I just thought I'd try one today. But I still got my two tacos. You know what I'm about to say? Let me get off this camera phone, eat my tacos, drink my coffee, sip my pumpkin spice croissant bite from Jacques in the Box, my favorite restaurant. And then in a few minutes, about 30 minutes, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll meet again on when on tomorrow from where from my front seat. This your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. So if you all want some shoestrings, hit me up. They're not custom just yet, um, but I got some really neat shoestrings. I am working on some custom ones. OK, this your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. And I love you. Do says.